Good morning and a very warm welcome to HT Online. My name is Jana Browning and I'm on the staff team here at HT. An especially warm welcome if you're visiting us this morning. It's great to have you with us. We believe that even though we can't meet together physically, God will meet with us today. And we're looking forward to everything he might want to say or do this morning. We're coming up in our service. Ed Smith will be leading us in worship and Ollie Benyon will be speaking as we finish up our sermon series called Meeting the Risen Lord. But before we do all of that, we've been starting these services by talking to different members of the HT family. And usually about this time of year, all of our undergrad students would come flooding back to Cambridge for the summer term. Obviously that's not happening. So we thought we would catch up with Isaac Heather, who's on the student team, to hear about what's happening among HT students. I interviewed Isaac on Zoom earlier this week. Hello, Isaac. Great to have you with us today. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, maybe to start with, you could tell us uh, who you are and what you do for HT, uh, and maybe a little bit about what's happening in the student work right now. Yeah, hello, I'm, I'm Isaac. I'm on the student team at HT, along with uh, Stuart, Sam and Claire. And uh, yeah, we, the students are like all over the world right now, but we've come up with some like fun ways for us all to stay connected in the midst of that. So we've got a Facebook group where we post like a regular radio show which students come on to and share what's been encouraging for them or they talk about, you know, some random games. We play like ridiculous challenges every week and that's been a really fun way for us to stay connected and encouraged. And uh, we've been doing some like virtual hanging out, having coffee with people. We always say, uh, they provide the coffee, we provide the chat. And that's been awesome as well. Nice. That sounds great. Um, and I hear that Risky Living, our student night is back, but just in a different format. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, so Risky's returned now, terms returned. So Risky has as well. And we're actually, uh, we're meeting on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So there's two different time options for people who can't make it on the Tuesday night. And uh, it's just been awesome. We've been jumping into a Zoom call together and everyone's been like there to, to worship together at the beginning and to hear a talk and then break out into our small risky groups. And it's just been loads and loads of fun. And uh, we tried to do like a Mexican wave at the beginning of everyone in the Zoom call, which didn't work at all because it's not how Mexican waves or Zoom works. Um, and we got a little video at the end of the first one of just us all like waving at the camera and saying hello. And yeah, I think we've got a video about that carnage. Can we to unmute everyone? Yeah, so we... Right, okay. Everyone's on mute. Okay, all right. Everyone give us a wave. We love you, That sounds awesome. And um, Isaac, I know that some families are finding lockdown a massive challenge. Um, but I hear that you've heard an encouraging story from one of our students, is that right? Yeah, so a few weeks into lockdown, the student team got an email from uh, one of our students just talking about the situation with their household. And they just had a really awesome answer to prayer. Their like background was that they were really worried about going back back home because their parents had had just quite a difficult relationship, quite a lot of animosity for quite a long time. And so they were really praying, have been praying for a long time for, for a shift in that. And uh, they basically three weeks in sent an email saying there hasn't been a single argument or a hint of tension between them. They said there's been more positivity and hope than there ever has been. They're relating together as a family in just ways that they haven't before for ages. And uh, they said they've even like started praying together for the first time in this student's living memory, which I just thought was so encouraging and such an exciting answer to prayer and everything. So good. That is amazing. What an encouraging story. Thank you so much. It sounds like you guys are super busy. So thank you so much for your time. Wonderful, thank you again, Isaac. In just a moment, Ed is going to lead us in two songs of worship. But as we come to worship, let's just take a minute to gather ourselves before God. Maybe put aside anything that's distracting you and just take a minute of quiet to turn your attention towards God. I'm gonna pray for us and use a few verses from Romans 8. But 
Let's take a minute. Father God, thank you that you are alive and in control today. Thank you that your arms are open wide to comfort and strengthen us. And thank you that we can come to you so confidently that we could say, like Paul writes, that we are convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. We pray that you will come close to us as we worship you this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> 